Hey everybody, welcome back to Idiot Proof Cooking. Now I know I said that I would very likely not be keeping to a regular schedule over the next week or so, but fortunately I have a very awesome wife who is super cool with me still filming my YouTube channel after she gave birth. Now I really wanted to thank all of those people that left very nice comments about uh, the impending birth of my son on the channel. I'm very happy to report that my wife gave birth to a very happy, very healthy 8 pound 4 ounce little baby boy and we're stoked. With that in mind though, I am super tired these days, so I'm going to keep this video brief. I'm going to show you something really easy to make. What I am going to make today is a staple piece in our house, something we make for dinner often because A, it's delicious and it's really easy to make. I'm going to be making stuffed acorn squash. So without any further ado, let's get into it and I'll show you how to make this awesome dinner. Okay, so let's get going on the stuffed acorn squash. Now what I want to point out from the beginning is the recipe I'm about to show you is actually good for two acorn squashes. I only have one, I thought I had two, but when I went to start filming this video I realized I only had one. So just keep that in mind. So cut your acorn squash in half like I've done here. And then what you want to do is on both ends of it, cut off the ends of it so that you have like a nice little base that you can just lay them down flat. Then get yourself a large spoon and start pulling out all the seeds from the inside. Might take a couple passes with the spoon to get it nice and clean, but you don't want any left over. Once you've done that, go get yourself a large baking sheet like I've done here and place both pieces of the acorn squash on top of it. And then go get yourself some olive oil and liberally drizzle it over both pieces, or in your case, four pieces of acorn squash. Up next is get some kosher salt, put a generous sprinkling on both pieces, and then a few twists of freshly ground black pepper. What you'll want to do then is preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and bake these for 40 to 50 minutes until they come out nice and soft. And while they're baking, let's talk about what we're going to stuff the acorn squash with. I'm going to be using one white onion, a stalk of celery, and a red gala apple. What we're going to want to do is dice these up finely, starting off with the onion, and then the celery, now what I'm doing is splitting it into four pieces to cut it up nice and finely. Once that's done, throw it in the bowl alongside the onions. And then last but not least, get your red gala apple and dice that up as well. You're going to want to use the whole apple for this. Again, throw it into the bowl. And then what I will do is I'll just mix them all together with my hands like you can see here. Now let's head into the kitchen to continue working on the stuffing for these acorn squashes. All right, so in the kitchen, heat up your cast iron skillet or a nonstick pan if that's all you have, that works fine too, and lay down some olive oil. For the meat, we're going to be using three Italian sausages. That's what I'm using. You can use, you know, three or four, just really suited to your needs. I think three is fine for this. And then decase them and fry them until they're nice and cooked. While the sausage is cooking, in a separate pot, boil some water and then pour in one cup of white rice and cook that until it's, you know, nice and fluffy. Continue stirring the sausage until it is cooked, and then once it is, pour in your apple, onion, and celery mixture carefully with the sausages and fry this for about five to seven minutes until it softens up. Once it has softened up, it's time to add in some garlic. Now I'm going to be using four cloves of garlic. I've said in a couple of videos now, adjust to your tastes. If you like things more garlicky, add more cloves in. If you like it less garlicky, obviously add less in. I think I'll be really happy with four cloves here. So once those are in, stir it around in the mixture for about a minute until the garlic gets nice and fragrant. And then it's time to add some spices in. So I'm using some fresh rosemary, just a few sprigs of it, just to add a slight taste of it. And then I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of dried powdered sage. I think that's going to really complement this flavor really nicely. Stir both of those in, and then once they are good and mixed in, get your white rice that's been cooked and pour that in alongside the sausage and vegetables. This is going to thicken that up a little bit. This is essentially going to be a nice binding agent to make sure that it all stays together when you stuff the actual squash. All right, mix that in, 
and then it's time to add some cheese. I'm using about a cup and a half of some shredded cheddar. Now you can use whatever cheese you want, just I would highly suggest not using the pre shredded bag stuff. I've covered that in previous videos, no need to relitigate that. Mix that all in until the cheese is melted and then it's time to start stuffing the squash. Now they've cooked for about 40 minutes in my oven and as you can see I've inserted the fork and they're clearly very soft, that means they're ready to go. From there the process is pretty self-explanatory. Get yourself a spoon and start stuffing the acorn squash. Now you want to make a nice little pile in both of them like I've done here. Now what you'll see is there's a lot left over and I covered this in the intro. This recipe is intended to stuff two full acorn squashes. I only had one in my house though. Finally, get yourself some parmesan, grate a little bit on top of both of them, and then throw this back in the oven, heat it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about another 15 to 20 minutes to give it a final bake until it comes out nice and golden brown like that. Look at those. How awesome do those look? These are going to be so good. Speaking of which, let's just set this aside for a second and bring a plate in here because we got to give these a taste test. Oh, burned my hand there. They are very hot, so maybe let them cool down for 5-10 minutes before eating them. But that's not what I'm about. I like to eat them as they're piping hot. And let me tell you, those are so good. It is so good. This is such a simple recipe that you can make at any point in time. Like, it's just so good for dinner. Like, it, it's so simple and it's just rich and tasty. Like, the deliciousness of the squash mixed with the great flavors of the sausage with the vegetables and the sweetness of the apples combined with just a nice little hint of spices with the rosemary and sage and the cheesiness of it all oh it's just it's honestly perfect it is so so tasty and it's a dinner you can make with very very little effort like i said in the beginning this is a staple piece in my house and it's for good reason because this is so damn good but anyways, that's the end of the episode. I hope you like what you saw here today. If you did, why don't you drop me a comment, like the video, or even subscribe to the channel. Before I go, I just wanted to say, while I was editing this video, I crossed over a thousand subscribers, and I am supremely thankful of all the people that like my videos. I am just completely blown away that a thousand of you have decided to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to continue making videos like this, and I'm excited to have you along for the ride. So once again, just really thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate it. But anyways, we'll catch you again soon on Indie Proof Cooking. Thanks for watching.